Surely you have turned your eyes to the sky and seen an airplane flying through the air. But wait, what is that trail of clouds it leaves in its wake? That is called chemtrails, a trail that leaves not only vapor in its wake, but many conspiracy theories that paint it as something dangerous. Is it true? Stay tuned and watch, but immediately after the opening theme, which we are having trouble playing right now. So my old sport, this is EdDevelop, where you will find the best scientific and related curiosities. Subscribe, activate the notification bell to enrich your day every time we upload a new video, and consider our Patreon. Find the link below in the description. Let's get started. Look at the sky. They're spraying us with airplanes. The government admits to controlling the weather with airplanes. These are some of the messages that spread one of the most classic conspiracy theories that resurfaces from time to time, that of chemtrails. Proponents of this theory claim that the trails left by airplanes are actually chemical sprays that are spread with the intention of making the population sick, for alleged mind control, or to change the climate. But as experts have repeatedly debunked, this theory has no scientific basis. My dear old sport, let's take a closer look at the truth behind this phenomenon. But first, what are chemtrails? Although the contrails we see appear to be toxic or made of some dangerous material, they are actually clouds of ice that sometimes form after an aircraft passes over due to the condensation of water vapor contained in the engine exhaust. Experts explain that when the gases emitted by the aircraft mix with the surrounding air, they cool rapidly. If the humidity in the atmosphere is sufficient, the water vapor will condense. Chemtrails, a chameleon-like conspiracy theory that knows how to adapt to new fears. But wait, don't believe everything you're told, because the chemtrails conspiracy theory emerged on American radio in the 1990s and 2000s, when documents linked to the Air Force on benign weather modification experiments were rediscovered and misinterpreted, if there is such a thing. Initially, the hoaxes were based on the fact that aircraft contrails made people sick, or even that they might be part of a secret plan to test new drugs on the population. Since then, the conspiracy theory has persisted in some circles and reappeared in the mainstream from time to time, adapting to the specific circumstances of the moment. For example, in 2020 and 2021, in the midst of the COVID pandemic, the messages focused on the fact that various governments, such as the Spanish government, had allegedly authorized chemtrails during the state of alarm. Interesting, don't you think? According to the reports, they had approved the use of government-approved biocides as aerial disinfection against COVID. But as the country's health authorities explained, the disinfection was of a temporary nature and did not involve planes or drones. In fact, spray cannons with nebulizers were used to disinfect interiors where there had been confirmed cases of COVID. Other hoaxes that circulated during the pandemic also focused on the health aspect. For example, a chain was circulated claiming that a military pilot had stepped forward for humanity and revealed the truth about the chemical spraying of our planet. The messages claimed that this was a mass poisoning by a project involving people without families. But there was no evidence of this alleged project. What do you think? It's getting tricky, isn't it? Chemtrails and the narrative as an alleged cause of climate change. The chemtrail conspiracy theory is not limited to Spain. There have also been leaked photos circulating of planes loaded with barrels, allegedly from Poland, Sweden, and Norway. According to the accompanying messages, the planes were dumping these chemicals on the population. These theories ended up as gossip because when the COVID infections started to decrease, the hoaxes about chemtrails mutated and focused on their alleged control of the weather. They could be more original, don't you think? Hey, wait! Now's the time! Subscribe to the channel to be entertained while learning! It's free! In fact, the messages claimed without evidence that airplane contrails were the real cause of climate change. For example, a video circulated in December 2022 claimed that aircraft contrails contain metals such as aluminum and even fungi and bacteria that modify the climate to justify the measures that will be taken because of climate change. The global warming they tell us about is not caused by our fuel vehicles, but by these fumigations, said the protagonist of the video. But like all fake news, it was denied. Several expert sources assured that scientific evidence has been proving since the last century that climate change is caused by the emission of greenhouse gases from the burning of fossil fuels. Airplane contrails cannot dissipate clouds and cause droughts. The conspiracy theory of chemtrails in adverse weather situations, such as droughts, is also circulating again. During the drought that began in various parts of Europe in April 2023, messages have resurfaced claiming that the aircraft contrails are changing the weather. According to several viral posts on social networks, the alleged chemtrails are able to disperse clouds and prevent rain. But wait, here's an interesting fact. 
Did you know that this could be true? There are actually countries that make their own rain. If you want us to talk about this in an upcoming video, leave it for me in the comments. On with the adventure, old sport. One of the most viral narratives spread is that the techniques being researched to artificially modify the weather in a region in a timely manner confirms the chemtrails conspiracy theory. Specifically, the messages mentioned on a post on the official blog of a meteorological institution listing several artificial weather modification techniques being investigated on an international level. According to the postings, the institution was admitting that it was carrying out the dispersal of substances in the sky, allegedly known as chemtrails, from aircraft. However, the institute itself clarified that cloud seeding and other artificial weather modification techniques should not be confused with the aircraft contrails referred to in the chemtrail conspiracy theory. Artificial weather modification from the ground and to avoid large hailstorms. Cloud seeding is still a technique of very limited effectiveness. In several European countries, it is used to avoid large hailstorms, which can damage crops, with silver iodide only in certain regions and at very specific times. Moreover, in most countries that do this, it is done from ground generators, not from airplanes. A professor of applied physics at the University of Leon, Jose Luis Sanchez, assures that no case can dissipate clouds. You have to remember that the average storm contains about a million tons of water. When it rains, between 3 and 5% falls as precipitation, the rest remains in the cloud. It is impossible to move that amount of water, he said. Similar messages were circulated in the summer of 2022, claiming that silver iodide generators were responsible for the drought in various cities. However, these generators do not alter the water cycle. In any case, the chemtrail conspiracy theory has no scientific basis. The trails that airplanes sometimes leave in the sky are not toxic elements, but condensed water vapor from the engine. Moreover, they are not the real cause of climate change or any of the phenomena derived from it, such as drought. In short, my old sport, you can rest easy when you see an airplane flying through the sky. What do you think? Do you think it's true, despite what the science says? Let us know what you think. That's all for today, my dear old sport. If you like this video, I invite you to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos. We'll see you next time.